prime. If I ever play, if I ever play in the Super Bowl, I'll guarantee a win. You know, you think it's true that unless you beat him, you're considered the best? No, I wouldn't say that. I don't. I don't think he's the best this cycle. And and I at I, least not now, not now. I not since I've been here. And I agree. Like I've seen his game. You know, I've seen a couple other guys' game. I do a lot of studying, and I agree with you. What are your early awesome. Super Bowl predictions right now? Early Super Bowl. Wow. Definitely not prime because primes. The echoes have been silenced. He already had his first loss. I wouldn't say that I get uh, irritated or frustrated when somebody makes a comment or expresses their doubt. Because, look, I understand uh, I'm constantly making jabs and chat, posting stuff. I put this X mark on my, uh, on my back, 15-time champ, the GOAT. Everyone sees it, and obviously that leaves me susceptible for a trash talk in return. And I enjoy the banter. I enjoy the trash talk. And um, another thing I've kind of come to realize is how do I constantly stay... Uh, at the higher level is even when I'm not ready to bring my A game or I'm not on my A game, everybody else is because of that. So that's kind of the iron sharpens iron uh, situation where even if I'm not on my A game, everybody wants to take me down. And I think that helps me stay, uh, stay good. I've beat the Jaguars twice, the Texans twice. Uh, we've had some solid games so far. And I took a big L, took one right on the chin. I know Coach Polly. I know QB stud, he likes to say it. QB likes to, he's like a little Tweety bird, not a big bird. He's no hawk or a vulture. He's a little Tweety bird about this big, little yellow little fella, and he's pecking at me, and he's pecking, pecking. He got his win, you know, great job, QB. You won a week four, regular season game. Hats off to you, you know, hats off to you. But uh, we'll talk about it come playoff time. Maybe conference championship if you make it, if you don't get blown out by dump again. But, uh, Anyway, back on topic. Uh, no, seriously, QB's a solid player. Um, I beat the Browns. I've got a top five scoring defense and a top 10 scoring offense. I mean, I'm playing well. I had a last minute drive against the Browns, actually. I had like 17 seconds left. Had to go 75 yards. And the GOAT came alive. What can I say? The GOAT came alive, drove right down there, hit a deep pass to Paris Campbell, and uh, the rest is history. But I'm, I'm where I want to be. I'm leading my division. I got a few game lead over Jacksonville, who won division last season. And that's that's always a good thing, right? So that was a goal halfway through the year, have a lead in division. So moving forward now, the next half of the season, I want to stay on point. I want to win the division, clinch a bye week, and hopefully the next goal after that is um, obviously clinch the conference, make the division and the conference go through Indianapolis. We don't have to stream. We don't like streaming in Indianapolis because our internet not the greatest. So stream cuts causing me to miss some field goals here and there. That's God's honest truth. Uh, so we like home field advantage. That's the goal. We like that dome aerial assault from Andrew Luck. Uh, we let go of T.Y. Hilton, but hey, I said in my last uh, podcast or my last episode, I've got three solid rookies and they're all uh, performing for me. I traded Naheem Hines. I told Coach Polly, I said, hey, this running back is going to have a superstar ability. He's got superstar ability now, and hopefully he has a second by the season's end. So everything's kind of going the way I wanted to. We just hopefully uh, this team stays healthy and we can make a championship run. And there's a lot of talent in the SML right now. A few teams I would love to play in the Super Bowl if I do make it again to get title 16. Obviously, Lawyer Killer. I kind of wrote about some teams, some legendary rivalry, and Lawyer Killer is back, and he's a legitimate chance, I think, of... Uh, pushing through the NFC and nobody's talking about this guy. He's back. Lawyer Killer is back. And um, I think that's somebody people should be scared about because he has a clutch gene. Future Empire, I know he took a loss just recently as I'm recording this episode to the Patriots. Future Empire gets hot later in the season. Uh, and he's a scary dude. You don't want to face that guy. He's got a good running game, a good RPO uh, attack, and he's a solid player. But the guy I want to face the most is not a legendary player in the SML. It's our most recent champion, and that's Sunday Squad, man. And hats off to him as well because he's won a ring. He's won a few Primer Bowls now. But I'm starting to hear uh, people hyping this guy up. And for me, I don't want a championship if it's not earned. I want to earn my championships, and I want to prove that I'm the best. So uh, everyone's hyping up Sunday Squad. So And he guaranteed, I mean, I don't have to play the clip again, do I? I mean, he guaranteed a win. And Super Bowl, so let's let's see what he's got. Uh, and I think uh, I'm confident. I'm confident if we played uh, 
what the result would be. So we'll see what happens there. But one step at a time, halfway through the year, uh, in episode two um, of Waking Up the Echoes. So anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, guys, thanks for listening. This was Waking Up the Epis Echoes, episode two. Uh, stay tuned for episode three at Season's End. Thanks for watching.